Three, two, one. How y'all doing out there? The YouTube.com Jamestown, California show. Jamestown, NYC on the New York Daily News.com. Opinions of opinions. First of all, thanks for joining us. And some of the things that I noticed in the games yesterday during the broadcast was James Worthy, the broadcaster for the Lakers, along with Tony Hill for the KCAL 9. James, you looked a little hurt the fact that certain games were pointed out, including the Rockets game. The fact you didn't get the rebound on that play for the other team, the Rockets, to get that three-pointer to tie the game at 112, and then not going up on your man, Ralph Sampson, regardless if Kurt Rambis, A.C. Green, should have went up on that play. Big game, James. Yesterday, you were on the hot seat, and I noticed that you looked like you were about to cry and blemish on the broadcast. So what we're going to do is put a big game, James, great moment when he was a rookie going right from college basketball, top in his game, to the Boston Garden where the Lakers and Celtics met in 1984. Big game, James, rookie season, coming in when these basketball players were all what you call ballers. Right now we're watching game seven early on between the Lakers and Celtics. And I'd like to congratulate, first of all, the Boston Celtics able to beat the Houston Rockets and ruin that 22-game winning streak. But it feels real good, the fact that a couple of days ago, the Rockets beat the Lakers versus the Lakers and the Lakers part of that 22-game winning streak. There is a stat that teams that play other teams after beating the Lakers lose. And the Rockets not only lost versus the Boston Celtics, but today also lost versus the Hornets from New Orleans. So right now, first place up for grabs in the wild, wild Western Conference for the NBA, where it looks like for the Eastern Conference, LeBron James is going to have to do something about the success and strength of the Boston Celtics. The fact that Boston's running on all cylinders right now in the Eastern Conference. And congratulations out there beating the Rockets. Now we're just going to talk about big game James and the fact that he looked like he was about to just cry worse than getting divorced. Sitting there crying like listening to Roy Orbison records or reading the New York Daily News opinion section a few weeks ago. I find that big game James, I'd like to thank you for most of your performances. Although pointing out a couple, it was just for laughs. And I know being a broadcaster, I'm a broadcaster, you're a broadcaster. We're also going to give you and talk about some of your good